If you love me, I gotta work for the both of us. I'll put you in the driver's seat. Don't gotta hurry in the name of love. What's up, what's up, my LV besties? Welcome back to another video. My name is Candy, and if you're new here, thank you so very much for joining my channel. And if you're not new here, thank you so very much for jumping back onto another video. I just want to say I thank you all so very much for all that you do on my channel, for interacting in my comment section, for interacting with me over on Instagram, and for subscribing and just viewing my videos. It helps my channel grow a ton, and it also helps me gain friends throughout the YouTube world, and I just want to say I enjoy each and every one of you guys. Okay, I do want to say... One thing because I do have new subscribers and I know I say this a lot on here, but when you have new subscribers, sometimes you have to tell things again so that they understand what's going on. <laughs> but you guys, I'm still having like extremely bad allergies and sinus. So my eyes are so puffy and I just can't help it. Like there's nothing I can do. I've been trying all different sorts of kinds of medicines and such but the pollen count is extremely high right now anyways wanted you guys to know i am sorry about the way i look i'm sorry if this video is going to be choppy and i have to cut out a lot of the sneezing and sniffling and and stuff but i have to okay so let's move on past that okay instead of having a purse of the video i am going to show you guys something else so here's the roses and it's by rose forever and this is a velvet box which holds the roses and i just had it sitting in the lid but the lid does go on top of it to close but i've just been displaying these roses with the box sitting down inside the lid on my breakfast nook table because it looks really pretty in there. Anyways, I went into collaboration with Rose Forever about six months ago and they asked me to show another set, but I wanted to show you guys how these roses looked from six months ago, which still looks very, very well. They still have that strong smell to them like roses because what this is is roses that are just preserved so they are meant to last i want to say like a year or two years but i can tell you guys that i do have one that my daughter bought me from a, another company three years ago and it's a single rose and it's in like a little plastic container case and it's lasted me about three years now so i definitely think these last longer than a year so here is my beautiful roses and there are 16 in the box from rose forever so that's that set and so here are the ones that i want to show you guys that they sent me last week and i'm so excited to have these because they are white look how beautiful those are they asked me which color roses i preferred and which like box i preferred and i told them that i'm good with anything that you guys want to give me but i did get red roses in a square velvet box last time so they chose white roses in a round velvet box and i love the velvet i think it's really pretty so i'm probably going to actually put this on my breakfast nook table for the spring that we're in so yeah so this is my roses from rose forever if you guys are looking for a good gift to give your wife or mother or daughter or any special lady in your life i highly suggest these beautiful preserved roses because they don't die you know how you when you get roses and you put them in a vase and they're dead within like a week or two weeks well these last for a long long time and you don't have to worry about that and they come with the beautiful box i highly recommend the company rose forever they are located in new york so i love which is a thing for me because i love new york but anyways they have all different colors all different types of boxes and containers and such for the roses to sit in so you can go in and choose which color you want and i will leave their link in my description box below and right now they are actually running a 60 percent off sale for mother's day so that's an amazing deal and then if you click on my link you can get an extra 25 percent off it's a good price and it's a good time to jump on that sale if you have some somebody that you would love to give a set of these roses to and you guys check them out because there's all kinds of colors and everything so instead of showing a purse of the video i wanted to show my beautiful white roses from rose forever 
that I've got just recently and my red roses from Rose Forever that I got six months ago. And I'll show you guys them together so you can see that there's no change from these six months ago to these now. They all still look very good and healthy. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna set these over to the side and move on with today's video. So I am in collaboration with Cami from Cami's Closet. And I love Cami to death. She is a very sweet girl. Cami has been on YouTube for a little bit now. From the first video I watched, I was hooked with Cami's videos because she's very spunky and outgoing and sweet. And she just gives off that really friendly vibe. And she's a very friendly person in general. And I really like Cami. And on top of that, she has a good YouTube channel. She has a great collection. She does a lot of unboxing. So if you haven't checked out Cami's channel, y'all go over and check out her channel. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to her and help support her channel grow because she is working very hard on growing her channel and you won't be disappointed in her videos. So moving on to what our collaboration is over, we are both collabing over the Papillon trunk. And I'll grab it for you guys to see right there. Cami actually bought this bag, and I'm going to call it a bag because that's how I use it. It's how it's designed to be used. She actually bought this first, and I was watching her video over it, and I was inspired by her to get this bag. I'd seen this bag many, many times in the Louis Vuitton stores, but I never asked to look at it because it was placed upon a shelf because it just didn't look like a good size for me. I thought it was going to be an extremely small bag, and it is small, but it does hold a lot. Well, I didn't even want to give it a chance because I didn't figure that it would hold a lot due to this circular shape and just the size in general. Until I saw Cami open up hers and she did a what fits inside of it and it held a lot. And I was like so shocked because it's a beautiful piece from Louis Vuitton, like extremely beautiful. And also then she tried it on and it even looked so much more cute on her so I just thought I would really love to have this bag so that's when I purchased it and so like I said Cami did inspire me to get this bag and so now we decided to do a collab over it since we both have it and basically we're just going to do a review over it because after I unbox the Papillon trunk I told you guys I would come back and do a better review over it. So that is what I am going to do today. And that is also what Cami is doing as well. So now let's get on to the details of this bag. And you guys, I know my nails are re really, really bad. They're chipping off, but the nail salon is the last place I wanted to go here lately, but I hope to get in this weekend. But anyways, Moving on past that, I just want to let you guys know before I'm sticking my hands up and y'all wondering um, why are they looking like that? But that's why, because I have not felt like going to, to get my nails done. Okay, so the Papillon truck. So let's first go over the details of the outside of the bag, which as you can see has the monogram coated canvas as the main part of the bag. I'm just going to roll it for you guys so you guys can see. And if you also notice the leather, it's not regular Vachetta leather. It is a dark brown leather with the LV embossed in it, as you can see. They have the LV embossing all the way around the ends of the bag and the top of the bag. And right there where all the little studs are, you can see the LV embossing between the studs and I think that is so gorgeous. So this is a very well detailed bag because of the studs and the LV embossing around the leather. What I love about the outside of this bag is this leather. Because this is a bag you can take out in any kind of weather, like right now it's storming really bad here. So like I could throw my things in this and go and the rain is not going to hurt this bag. Plus I think it just looks really beautiful up against the monogram canvas. I think that is so pretty. This is of course an iconic looking bag to me. The trunks have been around for many, 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 many years. So this was inspired by Louis Vuitton's trunk collection in general and specifically to the Papillon trunk handbag collection. 
So I love being able to have a piece that was inspired by their original trunk collection and also have it as one that I enjoy carrying. So it looks cute with like a lot of outfits and you can dress it up, you can dress it down. And I love that you can do that with this bag because a lot of the trunks are not very practical or they're trunks for jewelry and there's trunks for just to sit out for looks like for a coffee table or actual trunks for traveling. And then also they have started coming out with more trunks. There's a, there's a lot of trunks that Louis Vuitton has made by all means, but the Papillon trunk in this round style is probably my favorite one as far as one to carry. So the looks alone of it is so beautiful. Oh, and also I will tell you guys that my friend Amy did tell me that Papillon does mean butterfly in French. So that's really cool because I love butterflies. Thank you, Amy, for letting me know that because that's something I won't ever forget. That's a really cool thing. So anyways, back to the details. This bag does have the S-lock closure that opens up the bag and inside there is the strap. So we'll put that down until I put it on. As you can see inside here is a beautiful microfiber lining and it's the tan color which i think looks really good facing it off the look of the outside like it just matches really pretty and when you open this up like to me it just gives you trunk vibes you know like with that color in there like our old-fashioned trunk vibes i guess you could say so yes yeah, so microfiber lining on the inside as you can see there is no pockets of any kind because it's too small for that but this bag was made in italy I just love the shape of it and I'm going to show you guys what fits inside of this bag and how it looks on next, okay? So this is the bag I am carrying right now and it is my Pochette Matisse in the black and cream bicolor, color as you guys can see, but I have been carrying it for a little while because I have not felt like getting out of it. <laughs> so this is obviously a bag that's not going to hold all of my pouches, which you guys know I love, but if it's a bag that... I love enough that small, I will take my things out of the pouches and make it work just fine. So everything that I'm going to put in here, I have already laid out on my desk and I'm going to first start off by showing you guys my phone case because a lot of people like to be able to put their phones in their bags and I'm videoing my, with my phone. So I'm going to just lay my case right down in there. My key pouch, I would use that because it's smaller and the smaller things I put in here, the more things I can get in here. So we got the phone the little key pouch. My car keys is an important thing that needs to go. So we're going to put the car keys in there too. Let's see. Next would be my hand sanitizer because it's very important to me to ha always have that on me. My chapstick is a big thing that I have to have with me. Here is just a little pill case for Advil, Tylenol, or whatever you need to carry. Other than that, all the things left that I have is my Chanel lotion that I carry on a daily. Yoda, my manicure set, and then my AirPods. So after all of this, um, we'll go with the lotion. I don't have to have my little manicure set. Okay, so I don't think this, this will all fit, but we'll see it with all of it in there if it does. And actually it does fit. So that is a whole lot of things, you guys. This bag truly does pack a punch. I mean, look at all of that in there. And it's so easy to just open it up. And of course you wouldn't wanna open it up as it's hanging off of your body because your things are gonna go falling out due to that it's rounded. But set it down and open it up. You can easily get to the things that the bag holds. So I'm gonna take back out all of this to show you guys just how much I did get in this bag. So my AirPods, my Good size thing of Chanel lotion, my hand sanitizer, my chapstick, both of my key fobs and my house key, and then my little pill case, and then my little key pouch that I would use as a wallet, and my phone. So that is a lot. That's why when I seen Cami show what held in that bag, I was like, geez, that's a whole lot. I want this bag because it's super duper cute and stylish and it holds a ton. So thank you, Cami, for inspiring me to get this bag. I messaged her immediately after I got it. And I was like, 
I, I, you inspired me to get this bag and which is what we're on here to do, right? Like we show our bags for people that might be interested in purchasing them themselves. And so, and I definitely bought this bag from Cami showing her. So that's why y'all have to go over and check out Cami's channel because between her and I, she is the original buyer of this bag. Of course, there's other people that have the bag. We know that. But between us two, she is the reason I am the owner of this beautiful thing. Okay, so here is the strap that comes with the bag. And you, as you can see, it is a good long strap. And I have it adjusted to wear crossbody. The hardware on it is very pretty. So you have the gold hardware. And then the keepers are in that dark brown leather as well. And then, of course, the front of this is just the monogram canvas. And the back is in the brown leather that matches the leather on the bag so okay you guys i'm back i forgot this bag also came with a little gold chain and i changed my chains and straps out so sometimes i have to go track them down i'm not even for sure if this is the right one but i don't really care because i change them all out anyway so bottom line it does come with a extra gold chain so i'm gonna hook that on that d-ring And another thing I like about this bag is on the ends of it, you can see right here, it features two D-rings. So the chain can hook to the bottom one and the strap can hook to the top. So they're both not hooked to the same D-ring. And I think that helps a lot. If you guys are interested in seeing my unboxing of this video, I will link it in my description box as well. Okay, so I'm going to put the strap on it now. After you switch and swap them out so much, unless they're like obvious, straps that go with the bags like, like this one's obvious with the color of the leather that it goes with this bag and i stored it in the bag because i'm not going to use this strap on anything else if you start swapping them out you do start forgetting which one goes with which especially if you leave like a chain on another handbag or a strap on another handbag or something but okay so let's see what this bag looks like on okay all right so this is the bag crossbody which is how i like to carry it if it will work crossbody, then I'm going to carry it crossbody where I can be hands free if I need to be hands free. And this is a good adjustable strap to give that option. So I'm super excited that it is adjustable and allows me to be able to do that. So with the chain, I think it's just pretty as an accessory to hang down and look nice. Or you can take it off and not have to worry about the chain. But as of right now, I think it looks really cute on the bag. So here is the bag as a long shoulder bag, which is also very cute to wear it like that too. I love when the bags offer every option possible to wear it because there's so many different times that I want to wear them differently. And when the straps are adjustable and they are also adjustable to at a good length, it helps so very much. So here's the bag as a long shoulder bag. You could shorten it up to make it a shorter one, but it's not going to be too short. I will say that you could use a chain and just carry it in the crook of your arm. But if I did that, I would move the chain. I would hook it to the first set of D rings. To me, the more options they give you, the better because everybody is different heights. Everybody is different sizes. So give all the links you possibly can and make all the straps adjustable Louis Vuitton and detachable because that is what we want. So yeah, this is the beautiful Papillon trunk. It's so very nice. It, I love the leather. It looks like it's extremely structured, but it's not. It's um, kind of a soft bag, but yet it's not too soft. So I don't even think you would need an insert to keep the structure for this bag. Now I do plan on getting one just so that way like my sanitizers and stuff doesn't spill into the bag, but it is pretty good and structured as it is. I also store this bag in my display case and it is set there for display so when i'm not using it it's in my bedroom in my display case to look at because it's so pretty and i do keep the strap inside of the bag and i have the it sitting just on my display case i've actually displayed it in here a few times because i do like to come and change out my bag so, so i can change up what you guys are having to look at but Sometimes I leave what's up in here up for a while, but when I think about it, I do try to change some of the bags around and display some that you guys haven't been looking at. And so this one sat in here for a while. I moved it into my display case in my room and that's where she's been. And I carry her mostly on like special occasions. I mean, 
obviously you've seen what all I got in it. So you can use this as an everyday bag. Like that's just your choice, you know, and your preference. But me, I, I kind of like to wear this bag like as a dress up piece, like going out, you know, or going to a special, going to a nice event, a nice dinner or something like that. But again, like I said before, it is also a very good bag to dress down. So if you want to throw on your leggings, like what I have on 90% of my life, then I think this bag would look cute with it. Now throw this big old sweatshirt on and my leggings. And I still think you can pull a cute look off with this bag and what I have on right now, just like I could with a nice outfit. So there are many perks to have in this bag and I will give you guys the price of it because many people would want to know that. And so it is $2,900 plus tax right now. That's what it's selling for as we speak online. And to me, that is not a bad price for a trunk style bag. In my opinion, I mean, all of their bags are expensive, so we can't say that they're cheap, obviously, but in my opinion, for a trunk style bag that holds what it holds and has the great crossbody adjustable detachable strap and chain, like that's not a bad price and to me. So I'm super thrilled with it. And I think Cammie is very thrilled with her bag too. So that is going to wrap up my video over the Papillon. And if you guys have not already, please consider subscribing to my channel. It doesn't take just a second to hit that subscribe and it helps my channel out a ton by you doing so. And also, if you want to, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are not following me on Instagram, please go over and visit me over there. And I will put my name up for you guys to see because it is different than my YouTube name. But it's not too much different. You just take out sweet and it's Candy's Love for LV, but it's got the periods in it. So that's why I like to display it on the screen for you guys to see. So that is everything that I have to talk about today. And again, I will leave Cammie's link in my description box so y'all can check out her as well. So I'm going to leave you all with, I hope you have a great morning, day, evening, or not, whatever the time of day is that you are watching this. And for me, it is a good day. So I will see you guys back soon with another video. Bye. Cause we still